This tutorial is going to take our zoo example and we are going to incorporate a vector. The results are going to look something like this where we have a menu and we get to pick which animal we're going to feed. And at this point we haven't fed them if you look at the output here so there is no food consumed. But that's going to be our goal. And so the new things that we are going to introduce is a vector to our animal project. So we have to pound include vector here. I've gone ahead and typed in the code and I will upload this to course sites when we're done with the project so you guys have access to it. And then we're also going to try something new and this is called a type definition right here. It's really kind of a, a shortcut to just make our code look a little bit cleaner. And what we're doing is declaring basically a temporary variable so it's or it's a type definition so I'm declaring zoo to be of type vector animal what that allows me to do in my main part of my program then down here is just to say zoo my zoo if I did not have the type def I would have to do something like the following I would have to declare in main the zoo to be a vector and do something like vector of animals zoo or it would be like this. It would be my zoo. So I would have a line of code that would look like this if I didn't use the type definition. What the type definition allows us to do is to just make our code a little bit cleaner so then I can just use zoo like a class variable and then just say my zoo. So it just cleans up the code a little bit because working with vectors can sometimes be a little bit tricky and cumbersome. It takes away a little bit of that cumbersomeness. So we're going to use that type definition. And then we have our total food consumed for the day is zero. We'll use that, not right away, but in our method when we write the method to feed the animal and we write the method for the zoo report. Right now I have commented them out because we're not going to use them right now. If you look at main, I pretty much gutted what we did before. And what, all I'm going to do is to create three animals. Those animals are a mammal, tiger, a mammal cat, and a reptile snake. And it's Zim, Enigma, and Slither. I have not changed any of my classes. I have not changed any of the .h files. I have not changed any of the animal.cp, mammal, or reptile.cpps. I'm only changing my driver program right now. To add an item to a vector, remember that we use the pushback. And if I were to show how that works, if I do my zoo, dot push and I hit tab we'll use the shortcut and then I'm going to add the cat which is going to be enigma and then my zoo tab dot push tab parens snake just kind of talking you through how you can use the keyboard shortcuts here and use the tabs to make that go a little bit quicker and then what's really efficient about a vector is you don't have to declare how many are in the vector to start with. As I add these items, you and I both know there's three things there. I can just use the dot size variable here though to use in a loop in order to output the names. And this is also kind of showing you how to create a menu. And so when I do execute it and run the program, it's going to give us a little menu for animals that we are then eventually going to feed. Give it a moment here to run. So we have our three animals. If you notice, I asked it to output the, using dot get name. So it's using the animal method dot get name to send back the name of the animal. And so that's the introduction to our next phase of working with the zoo project. We are then going to ask which animal we are going to want to feed. We add that to our menu. Let me close my output files here so we can see what that's going to look like and execute this again. And then we're going to be able to input the choice. Now apparently I didn't declare choice yet so that's going to be in the next video. Let's go ahead and wrap this one up to keep them kind of short and sweet. So this one just creates a vector uses a type definition to declare zoo as a vector animal, uses that shortcut notation here, creates a few animals, and then pushes them into the vector and outputs them.
and that will be it for this video.